righty, even though the space shuttle is no more, the legacy of NASA's space program lives on, and actually you can get your hands on a piece of it. Showing us today, right now is Bobby Livingston of r and Auction, and I have been looking over these. Um, when I get to this story about this uh, watch, I got goosebumps, but we'll get to that in a second. Before NASA, we had to get up in space, and there's these two guys, I don't know if you're familiar with them, uh, the right, right brothers, right? Now, the, uh, am I right, Orville? Right? Am I right on that? My history? You have something in theirs. Tell me about it, Bobby, because I'm impressed. Well, it's really cool. Uh, uh, Orville Wright used to run the National Aeronautic Association, and he'd have to sign everybody's pilot license. And as the founder of Flight, you can find these things, and we have one in our auction, which is actually signed by Orville Wright, allowing you to fly, which I think is totally cool wow. and an incredible thing, man. Uh, it's almost Tom Petty-ish, learning to fly. Am I right, ladies? I'm joking on that. All right, tell us. This is a yearbook, it looks like. Well, this is a... Uh, a 1947 yearbook from uh, from Ohio, and there's Neil Armstrong, who's going to be the first American in space. And if you look at look at how, how pristine his signature is, I mean, we saw a lot of signatures at our auction, and, and you can really tell his personality uh, right there early. All right. Uh, and then we have you know we have another uh, uh, Neil Armstrong that's over here. It's a letter that someone wrote to him right here. Uh, asking Neil. Hey Neil, what are you going to say when you get to the moon? Right. And you, you can read that letter. It's it's pretty short. It's uh, pretty I'll, I said I certainly hope you will be pleased with whatever message we do have for the oppression that people on Earth receive from our efforts. How inspiring! And then we understand he didn't say the right quote, right? <laughs> he messed he said, up. He said one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, and and uh, it's the first letter we've ever seen where That's he's actually cool. talking about it. So he, he says, you know what? I'm not sure what it's going to do. You know, no one's really been there to say something, but we have something that's been there. Uh, as well, right? Or at least in well, outer space. Th this uh, this stopwatch is Dave Scott's personal uh, stopwatch okay. that he used on Apollo 15. They had to descend from the uh, command module, from the lunar module, and they had 23.4 seconds to do it. And astronauts were allowed to bring their own things, and he brought his own watch. Wow. And uh, you can see that piece of tape there is really incredible because you can see the timer ticking on it, and you can just imagine the astronauts going like this, they waiting to. to do that movement, or they would have crashed right in the moon. That's, right what, the moon. that's what gave me all the... Uh, chill bumps. Now, this is interesting. You gotta let me know what this is about. Well, this is uh, an actual microfilm Bible that was carried to the uh, lunar surface by Edgar Mitchell on Apollo 14. It's got every word of the Bible on there, and it was part of a That's prayer crazy. league. When uh, Ed White died in Apollo 1, it was his dream to take a Bible to the moon, and, it, and they all the astronauts tried to do it for him, and this was one that Ed Mitchell did, the first one. Now, all of this is very inspiring, and you can actually get your hand on it, and believe it or not, buy it yourself with R&R &R Auction. Uh, go on the websites. When Is this a conglomerate uh, of one time, or they go any time? Can they purchase well, them? It, it's online right now. Uh, it's going to end on the 22nd, so you can okay. go register and bid. It's free. We're going to have a link on our website. It's dailybuzznation.com. Thank you for sharing this, because sure. this is something that a lot of people don't get to see, and I got to touch. This was in outer space. More information on our website.